So you're almost done. So once you guys are there, you might be able to check your answer um, in with me. But ladies and gentlemen, basically what we have here is I told you guys just kind of work on two of them at a time, right? So what we're basically going to do is I'm going to kind of work through most of these together. But then at the end, I'll split it up just like I told Gavin to do. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is set everything equal to 0. x equals 3 x equals 2, x equals negative 1. I know I'm doing all three of them right now, but I eventually will just focus on two. All right, But I think you guys can understand there's not, <coughs> this isn't really that difficult of a step, right? The next step, setting them equal to 0, is not really a difficult step either. So you should have x minus 3 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, and x plus 1 equals 0. Right? That's not very difficult. Then the next thing is writing them as, remember, how did we get to these? We wrote them because we wrote them as, a, as factors, right? If you factor something to equal 0. So then the next step, I think, is, don't, is not really that difficult. Everybody should understand at least what you have is when you're given the zeros, you should be able to get to this point. Everybody should be able to get to this point. Because is there any really math? I mean, you're adding and subtracting to solve for, you know, solve this for 0, but that's about it, right? It's fairly pretty basic. Nobody should really have any difficulty to get to here. But this is now where it starts getting, this is where students start making mistakes. Huh? We are going to make the box bigger. But what I want you to do right now, though, is just focus on two of them. OK? So what we're going to do is I'm going to use, again, the box method as I discussed with you. Um, here, let's do a box over here. So if I do a box over here. I put one binomial up top, and I put one on the bottom, or one on the side. So I see? Then you basically just find the area of each box. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. x times negative 2 is a negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. Again, my diagonals are like terms. So therefore, I get x squared minus 5x plus 6 times x plus 1 equals 0. So hopefully everybody got to that polynomial. And as I walked around, I saw a lot of students that have this correct, which is good. So that makes me happy. Now let's get to the more difficult part, though. Now to find this polynomial, I need to multiply this by this. So guys, all I'm doing is now I'm multiplying a trinomial times a binomial. So all I'm going to do is add an extra row. So when I do my multiplication, I now have three columns. I'm sorry, I add an extra column. Now I have three columns and two rows. So I do x plus 1, and I do x squared minus 5x plus 6. Does everybody see what I did to do that? Yeah, because now we have to multiply this times that. But again, the process, though, is not that bad. Not all we're doing, if you guys, the way I like the box method, is if you just multiply each box, just focus on one box at a time. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 5x is negative 5x squared. x times 6 is 6x. x squared times 1 is x squared. X, or 1 times negative 5x is a negative 5x. And 1 times 6 is a positive 6. Now again, well, the other reason why I like the box method is you guys can see that your diagonals, you can combine them. They're like terms. So the first thing I have is x cubed um, minus 4x squared plus x plus 6 equals 0. However, ladies and gentlemen, do we want our answer equal to 0? We're setting, writing this as an equation, right? So remember the first thing we do when I said solving equations. When we were solving quadratics, the first thing we did was we set our equation equal to 0, right? And usually, the problem was originally set equal to zero. y, right? So basically, all we're going to do is reset our equation back equal to y, because that's how we write our equations. Um, so therefore, my final answer is y equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 6.